So I give a quick update on the Volt. Um, we just did a quick uh, did a trip for hiking in Castlewood, and uh, it had the uh, state park pass. So uh, we took it, and haven't done any uh, long range, longer range driving other than uh, a few road trips, which really kills the average miles down. But uh, anyway, we've got 108,000 over 108,000 miles on it now. I just plugged it in, so it's uh, it had two miles of range when I pulled in. So 42, so uh, just under 45 miles. This is without any hyper miling. This is with my, um, let's say, um, spirited driving style. It's probably the best way to put it. Um, 10.5 kilowatt hours used. Um, so we've seen essentially no capacity loss over five years and 100,000 miles. If I, I remember right, the EPA rating on this originally was 38 miles all electric. Um, so it's been... Um, uh, We've been very pleasantly surprised at how long, uh, how well the batteries lasted, uh, especially when you compare it to uh, some other EVs, which have, uh, let's say, a pretty sorted history as far as capacity loss. Uh, we've seen no degradation over five years, 100,000 miles, and we're getting about 20% higher range on electric than what was uh, advertised. Um, so really can't, uh, can't complain at all about that. Uh, that was part of us getting the the Volt was that we had such a had such a great experience with uh, the Volt um, as far as operating costs. We did uh, this is it's a uh, it's about three quarters electric driving, um, and that was uh, I would drive to the office at about um, 65 miles an hour and about uh, 35 miles. Plug in on 220, it'd be charged by the time I get done, and then I drive back. I was back when I was commuting to Golden. Um, so but racked up a lot of EV miles on it. This is uh, um, the, most of the gas miles on here is when we did road trips. Like we just, uh, I was up way uh, over 130 uh, and then we did a 500 mile road trip and almost all on gas. So that, that kind of affects your average. But um, anyway, so in that time we've done uh, two oil changes at $38 a pop at the dealer. And then we had one coolant sensor uh, that was a $20 part that uh, had to be replaced. Of course, the dealer charged $100 for that. Well, they actually wanted to charge more, but, uh, you know, dealers. But anyway, so yeah, that's the update. 100,000 miles. Still works like new. Uh, better than advertised. And, um, yeah, couldn't be happier.